Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die, my 49-day run. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. It's Horde Day, day 42. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. All right, so I've got everything put away overnight that we uh, managed to scrape up in the Jeep yesterday. Lone Wolf, hello. Good morning. Uh, thanks for being here. And I've got a bunch of chores in the base taken care of. I also did a little bit of rail work along the edge of our runway here for the gyro. I uh, had a witch overnight. Uh, thanks for the subscription, Lone Wolf. I appreciate that very much. And she did come up into the horde base and do some punching and some banging and stuff like that. So we're going to have to go through the horde base again today to make sure it's up and ready to go for tonight. Make sure all the repairs are done and so on and so forth, that sort of thing. Get our ammunition out there and all that. We don't have to do that yet. Today, I think what we're going to do first, like I said, is um, we've got to open the trade route, which we're going to do that uh, 2.6 kilometers away. It's a trader we've not seen yet, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then uh, we've got a savage country that we're going to stop by it and see if I can get these glasses back. Copy. Morning, Morris. So I'm thinking um, we'll go over to the Savage Country first. Let me, uh, I'm, I'm messing with my coffee over here. That's why I'm not moving around. Uh, let's go to our map. I think I marked it, didn't I, yesterday? I did. Yeah, I marked it right away yesterday when we talked about it. So everything is in the gyro ready to go. Um, she's uh, got medical kits in her ready to go. I think I'm ready to go. Restocked a robotic turret ammo. Uh, some things could use a little bit of a repair, but uh, you know we're we're looking for those strength glasses today, so we can make a tier five um, M60. So M60. Right now we can make a tier four, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, it would be bad, but I think if I get those, if we don't get the strength glasses, I might go ahead and just do it make a tier four and we'll call it at that we've got a nice tier four but if we get those glasses we could probably get that up to a tier five and then that would be even better just like our um, tactical assault rifle we made all right so let's let's head on out we're gonna go over to um, the um, what you call it what do they call that thing anyways the savage country now I don't know if I'm interested in the main loot room in the savage country it could be quite dangerous that main loot room because it's a drop-in, and there's a lot of bad stuff in there. That's where I've died multiple times. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm thinking that what I'm mostly looking for is just those glasses. If I get lucky and find those glasses in there, that would be great. And I know the Savage Country is a pretty good place to go looking for uh, some glasses and clothes and things of that nature if you need them. Oh, we also had a bear overnight. He got down in that trench and decided to get himself kind of wedged in a corner and started banging on the corner. So we're going to have to take a look at that too. It's the, one of the corners closest to the horde base itself. John of Wales, hey, good morning. Yep, got the old cowboy hat on. Mm-hmm, yep. Cigar in the mouth. Got my lucky looter glasses on. Looking pretty sharp, huh? Indeed. Thank you. I feel good. Gonna go meet a new trader today, which is kind of nice. I didn't realize he it was the trader was gonna be so close to us, but and I I don't think it'd be a trader wrecked in the forest. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll find out who it is uh, after we go into the savage country and just see if we can uh, find those uh, strength glasses. I figured that's a good thing to do first thing in the morning here. Traders aren't even open yet, anyways. We'll go in and start you know just checking some store shelves and see if we can come up with anything. Uh, Jezebel seemed to freeze up overnight to where she wouldn't follow me anymore, so I had to take everything off of her and put her in my pocket and then take her back out of my pocket and relaunch her, and then she seemed to be okay. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing, but um, I, I checked to see if I had her baby on just, you know, stay, but I didn't. I, I don't put her on stay because then I forget to take her off of stay, so I just have her follow me around. Um, so I don't know if that's something. Uh, looks like they got a two, Jen's got two sky rises in her town, and you know what, um, maybe we'll be taking some more trips over here to Jen's area this next go-around, because the next seven days we're any more brass, right, so we're going to have to find uh, a, a brass connection, and um, I think maybe we have Lucky and find a nice couple of churches in this town here, Savage Country parking lot coming up.
Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a 10. That was a 10. So that was a 10 when it comes to landings right there. I'm going to go ahead and plop this guy. Well, let's go ahead and make sure he's reloaded. He is. We're just going to go in here and kind of wake everybody up. Yo! Hmm. Strangely quiet. Turn my headlamp on for you guys. Hello? That's the my loot. Have up yeah, I'm, I'm imagining so. We should be picking up a lot of somethings. Just the one, huh? Well, I'm not going to waste any rounds on here. I'll try to conserve on the rounds here. Where is she? Lois? We'll keep that turret out there. If we got to run out the door, that's the best place to go. Yoo-hoo! Let's get them all up. There we go. What do we have? Uh, no runners. Oh, there, there's a, there's a radiated one. <laughs> Boink. You might be a little too close, huh? Gotcha. Oh, missed. Beautiful. A little laggy here in town. There's Billy. There's uh, Pete over here, too. i got to watch out for them. They don't even know we're here yet, though. So let's go ahead and just give him a little bit of a love tap to the back of his head. I got Pete. I did not get Billy. Billy's still quite angry with me. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come back over here and do that. Oh, poor Lois, you worked so hard to get here. Still got some banging going on. Oh god, I hope those weren't our glasses in there. Oh cop. It's so powerful with the club now. It's so powerful. I hear him. Where are you? Hello? They're coming. They're coming. All right, so we, we... Oh. Gross, right? Disgusting. Uh, so this place is much bigger in the back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start looting and looking for those glasses. That's all I'm here for is the glasses. If I don't see them, uh, I, you know what I should probably do is take and throw this stuff out. Oh, God, you just you just scared the crap out of me, dude. Oh, he finally made it out. <laughs> oh, boy, he scared me. Yeah, let's go ahead and just take and throw them out. I, I, I probably could get the... Uh, oops, sorry about that, Jezebel. Didn't mean to shoot you. We'll start at the front of the store and work our way back. That's the right thing to do. I'd like to deal with these guys here so we don't have anybody sneaking up on us anymore. I 
Guess I didn't open this up, did I? I know. Okay, there's Lois. I can't hit him. There we go. Okay, there's more out front here that we never did get. Sell that. Oh, glasses, glasses, glasses. Come on, glasses. Looking for the glasses. Where's that yellow bus? Gives you a radiator. Okay, okay, okay. If I was a pair of glasses, which one of these shelves would I be on? There's tons of dye in here. I could be getting all the dye, but that's going to take forever and a day to do. I really am looking for something very specific here. Strength glasses. Remember Brad and I did one of these one time, and it was unbelievable the amount of clothing we pulled out of here. I think we had three or four boxes of stuff sitting out there. It took forever to sell it all to traders and stuff. Well, I'll take that. I'll take the sewing kits. I don't know why. I'm not using them for anything at the moment. Uh, we're bound to have somebody in here, right? No? Just a display. I hear footsteps again. I've got a bad feeling about this. Which wall is he behind, I wonder? I hear him outside. Not much in there, huh? Sell those two. It sounds like we might have a maybe a wandering horde a little bit out here. There's Stanley. Hey Stanley. Is that you making all of that noise with just your footsteps? No, there's Oh, what is this what is this touchy feely stuff going on today? Okay. Gotten hit a couple of times today. I don't like being touched by zombies. Alright, let's keep looking for those glasses. I don't think we're going to find it in this sort of stuff, but we'll look for it. And then the other idea was we'll go see if the traders, if I could find them. I accidentally sold the pair we had. We had two pair, and I sold both of them on accident. Just a bunch of nails in this stuff? Come on now. Uh, okay. Searching for the glasses again. Nope. Nope. I've always had luck coming in here and finding glasses, so this is the best thing I could think of. Nope. Skirts and everything else, but no, nothing like that. Okay, um, over here. It's also a great place to come get some cloth, right? Clothes you don't need and aren't worth selling. Just shred them for cloth. It's a great place for cloth. I get your BDU clothes here. You know, we've got a whole BDU outfit multiple times over in here. This place is dangerous. There is a hole over here that will uh, mess you up. <laughs> is it right here? I'm going to bust through this and just see if I can actually see the bad guys in here. Because if we get to that loot room, that'd be great. I'm not dropping in from the ceiling, though. Uh-uh. No, this room has gotten me a couple of... What? Oh, okay. 
Good, maybe they'll help me with this. Well, look at you reaching through the bars and hitting me. Not everybody's feral in here. Oh, that's 10,000. I'm not doing that. I think, well, it's going to be 10,000 anyways by the time I get done with this, right? <laughs> Hey, Cannibal, how you doing? Thanks for the subscription. Sorry if it took me a second to look over here. There's been a major battle brewing. We've got him, though. Uh, horde night tonight. We'll have the whole horde in today's episode. Of course. All right, and just a couple more swings. Probably should have checked that, huh? This is actually going to take me longer if I had just gone through those metal bars. Oh, there's a crack of thunder right there. Must be storming outside. Pretty typical for our world, isn't it? Always seems to be raining here. We had our storm come through last night, which was pretty nice. It's gone now. Dumped a bunch of rain on us, which was pretty cool. Yeah, this loot room's always a, yeah, it is always a big fight. I'm I'm assuming I might have more in here um, that didn't wake up initially. We'll get the shotgun ready and we'll run outside to where we can have the turret backing us up a little bit. The turret's nice because if you stay in front of it, you know, once you run out of once you run away from it, you can always come back to it, which is nice, and have it there. It's just a nice little backup. Draw everybody in front of it again. I love doing that. This is going to allow everybody to get out. Let's go ahead and do a block like that. There we go. And just in case we need blocks, I don't want to be trying to climb those little pillars. Aren't they in the walls too here? There's, there was a wall there, there's someone in the wall there. Was there somebody here in the wall? Was that it? Because this room, I've had it where there's like two whites in it and stuff like that going on. It's just insane how crazy this room is with zombies. Uh, it looks like it unloaded everybody though, didn't it? Come on, glasses. I was thinking maybe there was a like a glasses stand or something we could uh, you know sunglasses on. Oh, what's this here? That's ammo. That's ammo. Never mind. That's not what we're looking for. Kind of strange stuff to have back in this room here, isn't it? I got my lucky looters on, right? I do. Okay, good. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, register. Ay ay ay. I don't have much luck here, guys. All we can do is hope that uh, one of our traders is going to be able to sell us the um, the glasses, I think. Figures we'd have nasty weather at the start of the day. Probably go out and look at a lockpick for that, right? Ah. Nope. Still no. Come on, strength glasses. And no, that is not what we're looking for either. Well, bummer. Get these already? Yeah, I think I looked at those already. All right, so that's this room. We have no glasses in here, but we do have this safe we need to get to, or this locked this lock box. 
Let's go out and get a. We'll go grab our lock picks. We don't have to take a candy for that one. We'll just uh, we'll just open it. Yeah, nasty day, huh? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this weather. It's horrible. Just horrible. Every day for us, huh? It's better to just be inside. Stay inside. All right, let's see what kind of goodness we've got in here. Pick that lock. Uh, Cannibal907 says, yeah, there's usually whites and uh, radiated mobs in here. Yeah, I've, I've died in here a couple of times falling in from that hole above us right here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we got off easy this time. I don't think they were even, there wasn't even any radiated, radiated ones. Hey, Shelly. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, that's nice to use. Okay, I like that one. I like that mod. I usually put that on my uh, machine guns. Okay, so nothing in here for us in this room. Uh, a little bit of goodness, but not anything too fancy. Uh, let's see. We got shoes over here. I doubt we're going to find glasses over here in with the shoes, but I'm going to look just in case. Yeah, this is the place to come to get yourself dressed at the beginning of the game. Uh, the what could be a you know a, a bad loot room like that one for some reason is easy. Don't know why. Run vanilla settings. Um, but yeah, you can get all your stuff, especially be early game, right? The mobs are only going to be the zombies are only going to be so strong in here with based on your skill level when you walk in here. I think it's a great place to come at the beginning of the game. Well, you get all your outfits, summer, winter, all that good stuff. Ah, nothing. I keep thinking maybe if I go up front, I'm going to run into the glasses rack, you know? That impulse buy on your way out the door. I realize I'm not taking all this stuff. It's horde day. We've got work to do at home too. I can't forget about that. We gotta go through and make sure everything is in tip top shape, ready to go for tonight. But we should have plenty of time to do that. Office, there's a safe. Uh, again, we'll just use the lock picks. We don't need a candy for that. We've got lots of lock picks. Argonoth, good morning. Uh, I have not seen the update for Rising World. I will have to give that a look. Uh, many animals of different colors, meat, cooking. Oh, really? Is it out to try right now, or is it uh, just a screenshot of things coming? Cannibal, you remember that, huh? Do you remember the episode? Yeah, where Variety and I fell into here, uh, into that room. Yeah, we both died, I think, right up against that. Great. Okay, thanks. You know what? Yeah, Variety was with me. I remember that now, clearly. Yeah, she was with me, and we dropped into that room, and that was the biggest mistake we could have made. A couple of chickens with their heads cut off running around in there like, uh, yeah, like crazy people. <laughs> it was so scary. God, it was so scary. Uh, we were a lot further along, though, and I th think um, maybe it was partially because of the group, too. Our game stage was much higher, I think. Uh, anything in here? No. Okay, so nothing there. there. There is a vending machine I saw back here. What's in the cart? Uh, wow, that's nice. Acid in there. That's cool. I'm not going to get those. I'm not going to get those glasses. I really did not want to settle for a tier 4 M60. It's just for seven more days, but still, I just didn't want to, you know... Settle, but we could make it a tier four. It should still mutilate them. We're putting points into machine gunners, so we should be good with it. It should cause quite a bit of damage when we use it. Save my butt in that series we did with the No Blood Moon at the end when we decided to let the horde come into the base. That saved my butt, that gun. The staircase, that staircase they ran up, as well as the gun were just absolute lifesavers for me. I think I searched all these back here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Anything in here? Uh, no. Okay, so let's see if there's vending machine. There's like a vending machine back here. We got a dressing room. 
Poncho. Oh, I did not mean to swing that. I'll take that glue. Those mannequins are awesome. <laughs> They've gotten me more than once. How about you guys? Those mannequins just standing around? Oh, man, I tell you. Uh, sure, we'll take it. There's the vending machine. Is this a good one? Or yeah, it is. All right, sweet. We got anything? Oh, well, we don't have nothing to buy. Ah. Boo. Anybody leave their glasses in the bathroom by chance? Oh, I'll take those rocks. Nothing. Ay, ay, ay. We're not going to get anything. We're not going to get what we came here for. We've been so lucky about that, too. It's my fault. I sold the glasses. It's my dang fault. Let's scrap that. Um, let's eat that. We can't do anything with it anyways. I'm going to drink that there coffee, too, because it just sounds wonderful. Um, can we repair that? We can repair that. We can scrap that. We can repair that. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, Cannibal. Yeah, I accidentally sold them. I had taken, we had a couple, of, we had two pairs too, which really just chaps my hide. Chaps my hide, I tell you. Really screwed that up. I've been screwing up the M60 since the beginning of the game here. Um, yeah, we had two pairs. I took one pair out and sold it. And then I thought I hadn't done that, and I took the other pair and I sold them as well. They were in my inventory or something, and I wound up letting them go. Well, this is a bit of a bust, unfortunately. I don't think I've searched the whole building, and I didn't do a very good job of it. But, you know, we're trying to hit the, the, the racks and stuff. I feel like we've been through a lot of it. I'll take those. Oh, that's worth some money, actually. Take the duster. See, it gave us one. I think we've only seen one duster, maybe two at the most. You need to stop making all that noise. I tell you, I keep complaining about her, but she does. Here's a snack shelf. I was thinking maybe, maybe up here. Modify, die, red. Come on out of there. Let's scrap you, and we'll scrap you. And where's that extra bandage? Uh, I'm going to drop those spuds. We've got plenty of potatoes. That's not something we have any trouble with. I thought I saw... It's all right. Uh, okay, so there's no there's no glasses rack or anything else up here for us to look at. I think we're going to head off to go see the traders and see if they've got anything for us to, uh, you know, look at. Bummer. Ah. And we've been through all this stuff here, so... Yeah, that was kind of a bust. I mean, again, I don't think I really got everything, but... You know, most of it. Yeah, there's just uh, lots of dye in here, too. I didn't really get around here. nothing so we're gonna have to pay I think I should force myself to pay full price too I did this too in another series where I uh, in seven days where I sold off something we weren't supposed to matter of fact I think we realized it right after I sold it that I had sold it and was like oh no what did I do and what did I just do I don't know what I just did I, I, I feel like I scrapped something that I shouldn't have scrapped. It's so easy to do that accidentally here. There we go. And drop, 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 drop. For sale. Money. Those mods can go into something. Machete parts. For sale. 
Steel club parts, we'll keep those, and we're selling that stuff right there, and then everything else can come in right after that. Boom. Oh, not you. Not you, sir. You stay put. Uh, yep. I think that's it. I think that's everything. Beautiful. Yeah, Morris, I know. It's just, you know, we, we do have plenty of money. Just go buy them. And we are going to go we're gonna see if we can buy them. We're going to go see if we can buy them. Um, I was just thinking it would be fun to go look for them and see if we could find them. We gave it a shot. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Ooh, that was close. That was a close one. Let's go meet our new trader. 9.42 in the morning. We've got plenty of time, so no need to rush. Cannibal says he got in the habit of dying everything he didn't want to sell. Really? Wow, that's some work. I guess so, huh? If it's died, then you, you notice it. I don't like the dye on much stuff. As you notice, our gyro doesn't have any dye on it. I kind of like the, the white. I like the white on the motorcycle, too. The Jeep we dyed black, I believe, which looks pretty cool. But uh, we didn't even know about this town over here. This is all new. So this is great. We'll open this trade route. We'll see if he's got those strength glasses. The black sunglasses, right? We saw the silver ones yesterday. Uh, I think Joel had the silver ones, but those were the perception ones. So we didn't want those. We wanted the uh, we want the strength ones, and I think they're the the black like aviator glasses. Looks like every town now has a granary, huh? You see the uh, granary up there on the left with the red lights on the top of it. Most towns seem to have that now. I'm trying to remember if I've ever been in this big greenhouse right down here on the left. I don't know if I've ever been in that one. Does this have the, uh, the new subdivision development in it? That's nice. Look at that lake view out there. That's pretty sweet, huh? The trees are starting to come in now. What do we got in this little town? Nice variety of different stuff. You know, you got your commercial district over here. You got some residential up there and along the edges. They, I think they've done a really good job of making the town uh, more organized, realistic in terms of just how it's um, put together. You know, you got your commercial stretch right through here, a couple streets wide, and then you've got all your residential that feed off of that off to the edges. I think that's really cool. They did a good job with that. Uh, there is a construction site here. There's right one right down here. That's nice. That is a big old house. Holy cow. Oh, I didn't wrench that bus down. Sorry about that. We'll be on a vehicle run again. Looking for the brass. Uh, this town is actually not even really attached to this over here, other than that road right there. I mean, it could be right through here, but it's not. Extra little suburb over here. Alright, and how is this particular trader facing? And who do we have here? Looks like it's Jen. Another Jen. What's this, our third Jen now? Alright, let's see what she's got. Um, we might as well take the stuff with us if we need it, right? Uh, where is it? There we go. 
Let's grab our dukes, and we'll grab the pie, we'll go out the sugar butts. Um, uh, I might as well sell this stuff too. In, well, I'll put the stuff that we're going to sell in my pocket as well. I think that's it right there. What do we have over here? we got uh, Lucy's over here. So that didn't kill her. I do like that suppressor, man. I was wondering, maybe the AK-47 that we found yesterday in the last episode would be better to use than this uh, tactical assault. Uh, I guess we could go around and see if she's got anything worthwhile over here. I tend to forget to search the area. There's a zombie outside walking up to us. Well, there's a book. Let's see if we actually read it or not. Uh, I'm not too concerned about... Well, can I reach that trash from here? No. Okay, that's this. I don't think we have anything in here. Is this zombie right here? Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to get rid of her. I'm like you, Jezebel. I'd like it to be quiet around here. I still hear another one. Banging on the wall out there now. Uh, okay, so what has she got up here? Oh, there's the chem station. Didn't search that. There we go. A little bit of gunpowder. Painkiller. What do we got in here? Uh, zip. Some nice starter stuff, huh? Some nice starter stuff. Check her garbage out here, too. Ah, a couple of... Uh, that's good to find. Um, let's scrap those. We'll scrap that. She can keep the clay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this guy from making all the noise out here. So we don't have to listen to that. Hello, Mr. Arms. All right, beautiful. Draw so much attention to ourselves, don't we? There we go. All right, let's go see Jen. Zip. Uh, w A, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Here to buy. I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Uh, he says, if you see a pallet of paper, could you point it out? Yeah, a pallet of paper. Yeah, there is a print uh, shop, actually, in some of the towns that has rolls and rolls of it. Uh, Jen, hello. What do you got in your register, darling? 32 dukes, huh? Business has been slow, I see. That's because nobody knew you were out here. Right, what do we got? It all in one place. All right, but well. if you do, make sure it's here. Uh-huh. May I see your inventory? Do you have strength glasses? I don't even know if that's what I, I, I type in, to be honest with you. I think if we, if we go to just the clothing, right? Um, does she have a clothing menu? Yeah, see, she's got a cigar, worn boots, and BDU. I see a scope in there, but I don't see any glasses in her inventory. What about in here? Maybe they'd be in here? No. Uh, shotgun, chalk. Uh, choke mode schema mod schematic. I don't want that one either. All right. Well, let's go through real quick. One more look. I'm not quite sure what to call them. Gunpowder. There we go. And boom. Okay. So she's got nothing I want. You should stock up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. Been living it, Jen. 42 days. Tell me what I need. Uh, let's go to the map. Okay, that takes care of her. Let's get her marked. Uh, save waypoint. And I th what are we using for the trader anyways? I don't remember. I think it's this. Jen. Trader Jen. All right, so she's another one on our list of people to stop and see. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Matt. Uh, we need to figure out where I'm going next. Uh, we're going to go see Joel next and see if he's got the glasses we are looking for.
Oh, and he's flying like a lunatic. There we go. Buzz in the junkyard. Remember the old junkyard, too? I don't see the big old junkyard anymore, either, where you walked in. It was like the big sand lot with a few cars and a bunch of containers set up out there. I don't really see that POI anymore. I think that might have replaced it, huh? Just the newer-looking uh, junkyard. So many new POIs have been introduced over the last couple of um, updates. Really like it. Fortitude glasses? Okay, fortitude glasses. They're called fortitude, not strength. Okay. So is that the fortitude? Is, is that the ski goggles? or the, It's the glasses, right? It's the sunglasses that are uh, dark colored. Is that right, Cannibal? Do you remember? If I'm not mistaken, those are the ones we had on. It's either that or it's the ski goggles, but I don't think it's the ski goggles. Yeah, it's the glasses. Okay, he's seeing he's the glasses. The shades, yeah. Riptide Raider. Gotta get the dark shades. Gives me something to do in this amazing apocalyptic world here to go out and just looking for a pair of sunglasses of all things. Kind of like to have this wrapped up if I could by, I don't know, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon here so we can get back home and get busy on uh, just checking for repairs. God knows we're going to wind up with a, um, probably a wandering horde or something before the uh, horde night even starts. That's kind of typical. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory I need to drop real quick. Just a few things anyways. Boom, boom. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's a book I have already read, so we could sell that as well. Very good. All right, let's see if he's got these glasses. And what has he got in his vending machine here, too? Uh, boy, the sugar butts have become a thing that aren't showing up very much anymore, it seems like. I'm always down to just, like, one. Maybe two at the most. Well, Joel. For sore eyes. Thanks, Joel. Uh, is it, should I type in fortitude then? Uh, glasses? Shades? Hmm. Not sure what to type. We'll just have to take a look through here. Nice and easy, like. All right, nothing there. I got nothing there. What was that? A oh, stump a ton. Pieces, parts, gunpowder and glue, gunpowder and lead, da, 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 da. chainsaw level three. That's nice. Another thing we don't have is chainsaw. Large pipes, small pipes. Oh no. Auto shotgun tier three. I didn't see any glasses in there, did you guys? I didn't see anything. Check back again and I may have what you're looking for. Well, maybe. Thanks, Joel. He tried. He tried. Uh, next stop is uh, Jen. No, did we do Jen already? No, we didn't. We left Savage Country and flew over to the new spot, huh? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and see that gen. And if it's not there, we're going to go home. And I think I might just make that tier 4 M60. I'm thinking that if I... Well, let's see. It's going to take me 15 machine gun parts to make it. I doubt I get 15 machine gun parts back when you, if you tear it apart. Right? Take the ones off his face. I know, right? Give me those glasses, Joel. <laughs> Can I buy those from you? Please. Uh, I should probably make sure I fill this up with some gas, huh? We're getting a little low. Do I have a plan on going any further than the 49th day? Not the moment, no. I was going to go the 49 days because I've never done that before on my own, so that's kind of what the whole thing's about. Just to say I did 49 days.
I'm doing things I've never done before. I'm trying to get out of my uh, my comfort zone here. Playing seven days. I've got a little over 1,700 hours in on this game. I had no idea. Obviously, I enjoy playing it. Ski goggles are agility. Just going back through the chat here. Okay, ski goggles is agility, right. This is my second go at Alpha 20. Uh, the first go was uh, a no blood moon. We're good. Oh, Jen. Oh, Rockbusters. Okay, I'll take those. Nothing though, man. Not a good day at the tra not a good time at the traders at the moment. Jen. Another stranger in need. I've got what you're looking for. So there's the ski goggles. Shades. Is this it? This is perception. This is the wrong one. Ah! Yeah, we don't want... Perf perf we want fortitude. We want the fortitude ones. Dang it, she's got three pairs of glasses in here. One, two ski goggles and one... That's too bad. Not quite the right ones we're looking for. Just gonna go through and flip on everything. Here's the clothes. Yeah, she's got the shades, but that's the wrong thing. They're like that, but they're black in color instead. If you don't know. And do we have anything in here? Maybe we get lucky and find it here. Yeah, no, I don't see anything there. So uh, let's just go ahead and sell this stuff off. I'm not gonna eat the can. Well. We did stop here, huh? Shotgun choke mod schematic. Or maybe she's just got the same thing somebody else had. Hmm. Don't I... let a zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. Uh, thank you, Jen. And uh... if he does, hey, we'll take care of it for you. Jeez. Okay. If you say so. Come on, Jezebel. We're out of here. All right, so it's a bust. It's a bust on those things right there. Um, this stuff we're going to sell. Yeah, let's just, we're going to go home. We did not locate what we were looking for today. Those glasses would have been great. Now the question is, do I make the gun anyways, or do I not make the gun and hold out for the glasses? We have seven more days to go. Would it be worth it just to make the tier four? And, you know, have it? Or do I wait for the glasses and make a tier five? What's what's the uh, what's the consensus there? Because if I make it a tier four, and then all of a sudden we get those glasses, we're not going to get the same machine gun parts out of that uh, weapon as we put into it. It's taken fifteen to make it. I think we'll get like what like four or five back. So, I sure would like to have it though. It sure is a fun gun to have. Uh, I forgot to put gas in the, the gyro. Uh, I probably have enough. We'll just keep low to the ground here. Yeah, Cannibal saying, okay, Tier 4 is going to have two mod slots. The drum mag, and then what else am I going to put on it? We found the... Um, uh, what's that called? The the bipod for it? The bipod wouldn't be a bad thing to put on it to kind of handle some of the recoil. So that's what I was thinking, is the bipod and then uh, the drum magazine. Those two things and that gun should, should put some things down. We should take a look and see if I've got points to spend. I think I do. And um, yeah, we should take a look at that and see. Maybe we could uh, improve 
on that gun. It would be nice to have three slots. The cripple mod. Oh, yeah, the cripple mod would be good, too. It sounds to me like we're saying I should probably hold out a little bit. See if we can get lucky and find those glasses. I think the next trader is the trade day is the, the day 43, I think. Gotta be careful here. We're dancing among the trees here. Buzzing the ranger station. Fire lookout. So in Arizona, the north rim of the Grand Canyon just popped into my head. I just can't believe it. Has picked up like 187 inches of snow this winter. 187 inches. Oh my god, I can't see nothing. There's the base, I think. Yeah, it's just thick as pea soup out here. Oh, they did this on purpose. They did this on purpose. Okay, I'm going to have to come at this again. i got to come in a little lower. Get myself a little bit better of a turn. Uh-oh, this is not going to go well. Okay, that's not too shabby. <laughs> we got up here. It's going to work for me. Um... Everything that's going to be selling, let's put away. We put that in there, and everything that's for sale goes right over here. Sell, 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 sell. Beautiful. Just like that. Um, yeah. And then I need... Watch it. Watch it, Jezebel. I need to take the fuel off of here. And we need to get this guy gassed up. We should probably have him sitting in an area too where it's uh, quick to jump on him and get the heck out of here. Let's grab all of that. Uh, those could stay. That stays. This comes with me. I can leave the auger in there too. Don't need it. So much good stuff each time we go out, right? Lots of good stuff. Point. There we go, and I'm not going to click that button there because that's going to throw all my bullets into there, and I don't want to do that. Gunpowder. There we are. All right, and we got some of you. We got one of you. We got one of you. A little bit of cobble, a little bit of concrete. Uh, I got some gunpowder and lead, more lead there, and a little more brass, which is great. Oh, sorry about that. Misfire. Misfire. It happens once in a while. <laughs> they tell us it shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> I should not be firing my weapon but in, indoors, but apparently I do it sometimes. So there we go, and the paint goes right in there, and boom. Nice. I'm just going to grab everything out of there. What else do I have to put away? i got some extra rounds with us, which is nice to see. We go and another 150 of those. To I did make some shotgun shells this go around, which I hadn't done in a little bit. Bump, bump. I think that's everything there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? You're gonna be standing right next to me tonight. I'm gonna throw those in there with you, so I could just say, "Hey, uh, you know, lay it on me." I'm going to actually take those off. Okay, so could you probably stay alive for a fairly decent amount of time out in the wild, couldn't you? Because of the fact that she's got that medical thing on her. I'll, now, I guess there is a cooldown on it, huh? There's, there's a cooldown on it. I forget about that. Never mind. I was just thinking on a horde night, you could probably run around and, and stay away from the horde. And ha if they do catch up with you and cause you some trouble... You'd be able to um, 
just hit the, you know, the, the medic. Uh, how do you hit the medic? I guess I've got to be wounded in order for that to happen. Hmm. Let's go ahead and drop all of this in there too. We've got plenty of dukes, which is nice. Uh, yes, yes, and I did have an extra stack of that and an extra stack of that in there, didn't I? Okay. Augur could go right down here because we're not going to do anything with it for the rest of the day today. Some stone in here. And some steel bat parts in there. And then we need to restock the rounds that we just threw into the chopper. The gyro. And our inventory is back to normal. Perfect. Uh, we are going to need some medical... Some, not, not, not medical kits. We are going to need some repair kits. So let's get those going. All right. A shades store? Is there a shades store? A sunglass hut or something like that in some towns? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe so. That would be pretty cool if they did, huh? Yeah, this is only going to have two slots on it. So, in the long run, it does so much damage. The other thing I was wondering about, what was I going to make? Repair kits. Let's not forget what we're doing here. I was wondering if this AK here, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tier six right here. This is 56.9 range damage, magazine 33 rounds a minute, 346 effective range, 49 max durability, 534. It's got a lot more durability on it. Yeah, but this is much better, huh? This is looking better here. Yeah. Well, this is 56.9. This is 56.7. I'm going to keep the tactical assault rifle. I like it. It's fun. I like the way it looks. I'm going to keep that. I may be losing a little bit of something off of it, but I don't. I guess I don't care. I guess I don't care about that, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep that the way it is. Uh, we got uh, these guys on us too. There we go. All right, you're ready to go in case we have to go. Uh, let's grab another 10,000 in gas and take this down to the Jeep. We'll put that in there. Uh, let's check this again. How full are you on fuel? Let's gas that up, and we'll gas you up. There we go, and you're full? All right, beautiful. All right, that one's ready. Those two are ready and gassed up just in case we need them as well. 2.29 in the afternoon. Uh, next step would be to make sure our word base is ready to go for tonight. We've got almost 1,000 steel cooked up, so we can do a little more upgrading. We're going to need cobble wood, concrete, all that stuff. We're going to do a little bit of building now, I think, uh, for this next uh, half of the stream, along with the horde, which is going to be included in today's episode as well. We'll grab that and that. Might as well grab that too. And I've got a bunch of wood on me. I do. We don't need a lot of wood. Uh, maybe we'll get around to these guys today as well. These guys I want to put um, R and shape. thinking about this guy if I have that like that does that look like the the round part at the bottom is kind of a hold for the the smoke to go up into you know what I mean jelly bean I'm kind of hoping that's that's the look I'm going for here Something like that, and then I'm going to run the pipe up into here, you know. 
I feel like it's kind of got that look, but it's capped, you know? It's it's the end of it, so I don't know if I like that very much. I do new. No. Uh, we're going to do a little building here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to go fill up my coffee cup. Come back. Make sure the horde base is ready to go. We're going to do a little painting on the inside of this wall here and get this ready to go so we can move things around and put things down and get this place looking nicer. And we've got to make sure, again, the horde base is ready to rock and roll. Give me one second. I'll be right back. And yeah, we're back. Thanks for letting me take a little break. A lone wolf took off for bed. Good night. Uh, you think you saw a glass hut, a glasses hut in town here? Hmm, interesting. If I do that right there, will it stick? It will. Okay, good. Uh, I should not do that right now. Hold on a second. Um, hmm. The thing about the, the, the game is that some surfaces you can't get to once you put some stuff up. It's difficult to get to those surfaces. So you got to think about what you're doing. Um, with this stuff here, I think I'd like it to be kind of a, a metal look to it. These little brackets that are holding up the uh, forges. Uh, here's a rusty black metal, which is always a nice thing, you know. Uh, we can also do this here too, where we say paint all sides of the block, and then we don't have to worry about that. Oh. There we go. All the way up to the top. Rusty blackened metal because of the smoke that's going through here. Do that. And then we need um, more shapes. We need this guy right here, I think. Uh, and you're going to point. Oh, I see. You're only going to. I can only do one more up here, and then the smoke would actually belch out those holes up there. So we need to just do a straight one. Very primitive, very primitive. There we go. Do something like that. You're not going to see a lot of that pipe anyways once it's done. You know, we're going to have a little something that comes down the sides of each of these two. To kind of um, protect the pipes. But there we go. We've got those installed. Uh, oh. Get that taken off of there. Now inside here we did talk about some brick. And I think what I want to do is go with... Let's see. Let's go downstairs. We have uh, some brick already kind of figured out. We put up some, some some colors. I like this one right here. This one or this one up here the best, I think. I don't like this one. I don't want that one. It's down to these two. This one here kind of fades in too much with this one, so I'm not too thrilled about that one either. Uh, I don't mind that as our base block right here in terms of our foundation, but I don't think I like that there. Um, and in terms of it not being too dark, maybe this one would be better. It seems a little bit brighter. So if I go like this and texture picker, if I do that, I should be able to, uh, I'm hungry. Paint all sides. I think that's going to look a little bit better right there. And I'm fine with this being the brick on the inside too. This is an apocalyptic building after all, right? It's apocalypse so now what I'm not sure is do I want to have this too high or just the one high here you know if you think about it brick would be pretty easy to get a hold of especially with these dilapidated buildings you go in and you could salvage a lot of the brick that's laying on the ground bring it back and reuse it to build your own place uh, without having to make brick I know I can paint a larger area. I know how to do that. Uh, for some reason, this is very soothing to me. Uh, 
Let's do a whole wall. We'll see how it looks. I think that's good. This will be something different up here. This will be something different. A different, um, a different color up above. On these guys here. Now, here... I guess we're going to go the same. There we go. All the way down. Yeah, that's the, the, the only thing I reason I did this too high was because we've got this meeting up right down here, but I think that's okay. If I were to do, um, well, we're... Uh, I kind of want to do this color out here. Um, you know, have this continue through our, our driveway here. This is made for us to drive completely through here. Uh, paint surface. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the paint surface one. This one does a nice big bundle of it. There we go. And then back to the brush. You know, that gives us our, our little driveway here. Different color. The runway up above is going to be that. We'll switch this over to metal, I think, maybe. Now nah, we'll do this here. We'll do this here. Like that. And we've got our, our drive-in. And what we could do on the side here, since this is going to... Actually, you know what? This is going to be brick, I bet. Yeah, this will probably be brick. We'll do... Um, This here, like so, along the edge. Nice solid brick. I think that's good. I'm going to have to get some more uh, flowers going so we can, uh, you know. It is painting the whole block still, right? It is. It looks like it is. Yeah, good deal. All right, awesome. I think that's right. Looks right. All this would be that. You know, that would all be just that color right there. I wish you could just hold down right click, and drag your, your finger. I think that's gonna look good, I think. Paint roller and zap. Get zapped. Get zapped. Get zapped. There we go. And back to the brush. Something like that right there. With the brick coming along the edge here, which is gonna look nice. And then we've got to get this sealed up too. What have I what have I got going on here? I don't have two blocks. They're they're missing here. I failed to get all the blocks put in. Let's go ahead and copy shape. I'll get these finished up. Uh, and then we need advanced rotation. There we go. And then we need to copy one more block. This guy right up there and copy shape. There we go. Perfect. And advanced rotation. There we go. Perfect, just like that. Mm-hmm. I did the catwalk up here around the garden area so that we can walk along the edge without having to worry about falling off, and these kind of support that right there. They kind of help support that catwalk, this this abutment up to here and this guy up to here. Uh, let's go get the uh, nail gun. 
429. It's uh, 430 in the afternoon. Horde will be coming here in a short while. A short while. They will be coming looking for us in just a little bit. Uh, we need to go back outside. We'll come down here. And instead of following all along the building, I decided to have these end uh, after we uh, just round the corner a little bit. So instead of this going around and coming across and meeting up with this and, get, and continuing on down, I just decided to have them end on each of the posts instead of wrapping around. Part of me wonders if I should have used the metal catwalk on this instead. I guess I could change it, huh? If I wanted to upgrade these, I could do the steel. Curious to see what kind of horde night we're going to have. So far, they've been a little bit lackluster. I'm always nervous, you know, and then it happens, and we've done so well so far. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it, though. The thing I didn't want to do is get to painting too soon because then you forget what you have and haven't upgraded. This is not none of this is going to be upgraded to steel, so we're fine with with doing this right here. But um, it'd be easy to paint this as it's just this wood, and you know, forget to upgrade it. At least for me, it is. So I've been holding off on the paint job for a little bit, and that's all taken care of. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do with this here, too. You can't paint the garage door, unfortunately. I guess um, this probably should be... Yeah, we're still doing the whole block. Oh, you know, I got an idea, too. Hold on. Let's grab you, and let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do you there, you there. There we go. Something like that right there, just to break that up a little bit. Maybe we go across the top too. We trim that out with the with the bigger brick up there. And then here, there was a nice metal texture we used on our sort of steampunk thing that we did. Steampunk base we built. And I really liked how that looked. I think it's this metal reinforced look right here is what it is. And I liked it. I got no paint. Oh, really? No paint? I'm out of paint. Say it isn't so. All right. Well, there you go. I'm out of paint. Let's get the runway finished up. Oh, tell me I can reach that. There we go. I like the fact that their paintbrush is like, um, it, it offers you the all sides. That's really handy. It's easy to forget to turn that off, though, and then you're just in, you know, you got a mess going on. The nail gun has amazing reach, Chase. The nail gun is uh, a gift. Wonderful. 
the paintbrush, if you think this has got a reach, the paintbrush has an even farther reach. You can really reach a long ways with the paintbrush, which is pretty handy. Um, you know, because like I said, you don't want to paint it too soon because you have no idea what you're going to do. At least for me. I can't do it right away. We've got rails up there. Uh, so we do that. Oh, what do we got here? Get upgraded, dude. There we go. Must have run out of stuff right here. There we go. I think now we are all upgraded. 100%. Yeah, okay. Looks good. Hmm, see, now this is where you got to come in and look and see. Okay, is this going to look wonky or is this going to look weird on the inside? Fortunately, we can paint the inside of the block differently if we want to. Uh, I need a bunch of chrysanthemum, though, in order to get the uh, paint actually made. But I think this is good. I think we got a good start on what the paint job's going to be. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's chrysanthemums, isn't it? And I don't have much in terms of chrysanthemum uh, around here, really. One. Uh, which is something that we usually would go out and punch, right? We just go out and punch it. Let's drop you in there. Uh, we do still need the concrete and the cobble and the wood. I believe I've got a bunch of rail out here that still needs upgrading. And this will be a nice little guard rail for us to keep us from falling off of the side of this. Not on the ends, of course, but, you know. A little bit of protection. Okay, there we go. There's our runway. Oh, we got this little bit right here. What I was thinking about is we've got these little areas that jut out. I had and planned on putting the railing along this right here. But then I thought to myself, you know what? If I put a block here, I can put a light on it, run some relays and lights along here to just kind of help light up this runway. Um, so we could see when we're coming in. We've, I mean, we've got lights up here, though, right? We do. We've got those lights right there. I've added the an extra jet en engine in there, too. Put another motor. You know, if we had that on, we'd have to get really close to base in order for those to light up. It's just the way the game is. Um, even right here, you can't tell that this one, it's white, but you can't see any light coming off of that, you know? That one there you can, but not this one down here. But once you get a certain angle, you can tell that there is a light on right there. Um, yeah, I don't know now. With those two lights right there, it kind of lights up the runway anyway. So I don't know that I need more lights out there. But we could, it's always something we can consider. I need to make sure that uh, certain doors are closed so we don't have... Uh, you know, them open tonight. We don't want them open at night. Uh, that can stay open. That one can stay open. Uh, do I want to plant chrysanthemums? Ooh, I think I might want to do that. I mean, they're easy to go pick, of course, but I'll plant, I'll plant a few. There it is. Maybe if we plant some flowers, they'll be less likely to want to kill us, huh? Maybe? Not likely. Uh, okay, Jezebel, your hitbox is in my way. Thank you very much. Super corn, super corn. Look at there. Mm-hmm. Three seeds, four seeds, five seeds, six, seven, eight. Oh, my God. Nine out of the ten I hit gave me a seed. There's ten. Oh, perfect. See, that's what I wanted. I wanted to do that every time. Why would I not get 10 seeds back from a corner cob? Seems like a no-brainer. These trees have to go, too. I can't be planting these trees here anymore. They are really in my way when we're flying in from any, you know, it's just, they're just a distraction. We've got more pumpkins for cheesecake. I guess I forgot to plant something there. Uh, 
How many potato seeds we wind up with? Uh, six, huh? Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually take all this. Where, where's my super corn? How many um, seeds can I make out of that? I can make 14 more, huh? I'm going to do it. And we're going to get us some super corn going. I've got so many potatoes right now that it just, you know. I can't put that. Jezbel, you're in the way. Okay, they need to fix that. Now, I'm concerned about her out in the um, arena with us tonight. She had a tendency to get herself put into the blade traps, causing damage to herself and to the blade traps. So I'm not so sure I want her out there um, with us. You know what I mean? She um, She's in the way right now. She won't move. I'm not saying she's in the way all the time. Just this time. I'm going to throw all this stuff in here. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take that and that. And the super corn come with me as well. Uh, I've got four potato seeds. That's what I needed to drop off in here. And the mushrooms, are they all grown up? They are. Okay, let's get these replanted too. These are the, the toughest ones. The toughest plant to get. Parker behind the door. Yeah, I kind of thought maybe in that hallway back behind us, Cannibal, would be a good spot to put her. Because, yeah, I don't want her taking damage. That would be... Uh, it's not good, that's not a good idea. But then she's close enough for me to go over and say, Hey, can you fix me up real quick? And maybe she could do that. Perfect, just like that. Uh, nail gun stays with me. Yeah, the nail gun stays with me. I do not need you. Well, I'm going to keep you in my inventory just in case for some reason I need it. Uh, maybe I should have a little fun with the 44 tonight as well. There's no more room for potatoes in there. I'm, 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 I'm all in a room. You guys, I made more red tea and some more of the yucca juice as well. Got that going. Um, super corn's going in here. I don't have much of a syrup. I've got four. That's all I have in terms of super corn. Let's put this clay back out here because we need this for the uh, mushrooms. Boom, like that. But this looks pretty good up here, huh? You know, it ends right here up against this wall. And then we've got ourselves a bit of a catwalk going all the way along here, and it matches up with the wall there. And it gives us a little bit of extra space to walk around here. So I thought that was a good idea to do that. So that's what we did there. And I've got a bunch of potatoes in me. Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. All right. Shape. There we go. What is it? 18.49 in the evening. 18.49 and do I have all my doors closed? Let's make sure. Nope. You're closed. How about you? You're closed. All right. Very good. Jezebel, up you go. There you are. All right. Good deal. I guess I'm going to have to go out there one more time anyways. Uh, I was... Oh, you know what I was concerned about? I was concerned about... This hole right here. If I do... And it's my fault. I didn't do this quite right, but... I feel like this is an opportunity for a... That's in the center. I don't want that block. Is it this one? For a, a vulture to puke on that um, relay down there. And I, I, I just... We can't have that happening. So let's grab that, and then let's go ahead and do our bars. And we're going to put you advanced rotation. 
I don't want to. I don't want to lower that um, that relay. I want to leave it just the way it is. So this is going to be a little a little wonky right here. We're going to do that right there, and that's just going to help protect that a little bit better. Because yeah, I noticed that um, working up here is like, oh my god, that's that's not good. We can't have that thing happening. This guy should be ready to rock and roll. You're not full of rounds. You are not ready to rock and roll. Okay. Let's take care of that. That's why we're here, right? Uh, nine mils. Let's grab some of those. And we'll see if they're both ready to go. Thunder, 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 cats. Oh. Let's unlock that. Let's drop that in and lock it. All right. And you are ready to go. And it's still on that switch. Uh, I'm going to need to go over there and check on that. I need to take one more quick break. We've got the Horde Knight coming up in just a couple hours. Uh, so give me one more second here. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll come back, and uh, we're going to go until the Horde is over. So hopefully it's a good one tonight. we got a lot of good loot, and we don't die. Be right back. And we're back. Thank you very much for letting me take us another little step away there. We're hungry and thirsty. Let's drink a little something, eat a little something. Thank you. And you. And then the food. Oh, we're going to take those jars out of here. There we go. And a steak of potato. Let's use that. And we'll use another one. I feel a sneeze coming on. Forgive me in advance. Yeah, is it coming? Maybe, possibly. Uh, repair kits, all right. Uh, let's grab a little more cobble. Take out there with us. We've got 500 steel, we'll take that with us. Uh, we'll take all of our rounds. Oh, I think I will use that 44. That just looks like a lot of fun. Kapow, kapow, kapow. Uh, pipe bombs and stuff I've not been really using very much of. I'm actually going to leave a couple stacks of that behind. Uh, just so in case I have to retreat, I've got a place to put those. I've got those right there. And I think that's good to go there. All right. Let's put our ammo over here. We need to check that other gun to make sure it's loaded. I think it's fully loaded. I, I, I have no idea. We really need to check it and see. I got a, a fever of 103. I guess some of this ammo is going to actually be in my inventory, isn't it? So I should probably just take that back. Do something like that right there. And grab a couple more of these shotgun things here. Do that. Do that. Uh, I've got steel, i got mechanical parts. I don't have much forged iron out here. Let's grab a little bit of forged iron. I'll turn my headlamp on. It's getting, starting to get dark here. Uh, we'll grab half that forged iron. And we'll bring that out here. And I'm going to need that on me as well. And that on me. I believe in order to make the repairs necessary to the base if need to be done. Um, let's make sure everyone's up to snuff. Okay, you're going to get repaired. You're going to get repaired. You're getting a repair. Matter of fact, you're getting an upgrade. You're getting an upgrade. You are, and you are. And these outer walls are also going to get upgrades too. So when the cops puke on this, uh, it doesn't cause as much damage as it's been causing. There we go. We'll do that right there. And that's all nice and steeled up. We're going to steal this up. I'm doing this right here, right now, so that I don't forget to do it. Uh-huh. Okay, no cop going to puke on you guys and ruin you. There we go. Your steel. Perfect. Per there we go. There we go. See, that, that makes me feel better now. Let's fix that. You're already fixed. You should be okay. We did work on that one already. Let's make sure our pathway that they are following is... Oh, geez, look at this. This is cop puke, I'm pretty sure of it. 
or the uh, the uh, buzzards, right? Buzzards causing a little bit of damage, banging up against the wall of the building. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. That's nice. I suppose we should make sure the shell we're standing in is safe. <laughs> right? It is our lifeline, after all. Okay, I think that's all good. Oh my god, it's just amazing to me how they managed to damage so many different things. I guess, does she cause any damage when she's banging into stuff? I don't know if she does or not. I'm guessing that's possible. We should probably get out front here and check the front of the place real quick before it gets too dark here, right? Alright, here we are. We got it. We're looking good. We got all this stuff fixed up last time. This is still concrete, which is kind of a problem, but I did I get all the stairs last time? I thought maybe I did. Oh, there was some damage here. I saw it. Now, we upgraded these. What we're watching for tonight is we upgraded these to steel. These ladders are steel now. They've been busting out that top rung each time, which is always a problem. And when they do that, they stand on the top of the ladder and they bang on that stair right there. So we've got to watch and see what they do tonight. Are they going to break these metal ladders down? Because I think the ladders are half the fun to watch them climb to the top and then jump all the way over the top. It's pretty funny. I'm sick like that. Oh, uh, yeah, this is good. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you to steel. You and you. There we go. I think we're good in here. This probably should be upgraded too. They sure do. Last horde night, they were standing on this block and getting kind of stuck in here. And I'm not quite sure why they were doing that. Because it didn't happen the first couple of horde nights we had. They never got stuck in there or have any problems. So I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on there. We'll have to take a look at them tonight and see how they do. I'm hoping tonight we have a really busy horde night. Again, I think my hordes are a little bit easier because I focus more on the building than a lot of the other stuff. The, the killing of the zombies. My points come in a different way to me than killing zombies. I think we've got that all taken care of. Well, here we go. God, it's amazing. Like I told you guys before, you can go through this thing, I don't know how many times, and... It still seems like there's some damage somewhere you've got to watch out, you've got to find. Alright, that takes care of that. Do I have this uh, all... You know what? Steel and steel. 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 There we go. Do all that in steel. That's going to be really tough for them to tear down. Those are steel, and I think these stairs are going to be steel too. There you go. You guys can bang away, and you're not going to cause nearly as much damage as you would normally. Oh, jeez. That was a mistake. There we go. Like that. Um, yeah. I feel like that's good. Maybe we do the middle ones here. I'm out of steel. That's it. All right. That's our steel for the day. That's good, though. We got a chunk of this taken care of right here up front. Oh, I would like to have that steeled up, too. And that one right there as well. Okay, so let's go grab some more. We'll close that so nobody comes wandering in here. I have steel out here, I believe, right? Um, oh, did I, I didn't pick up all the steel out of this box, did I? No, I left some steel in there. Okay, so we want that for the repairs. We need to keep that chunk in there for repairs. This stuff I made in here is for us to use right now. That's not steel. Uh, and we probably have a little bit of steel in there, but I'm going to leave that alone. And we've got 415 more. Let's go make sure the rest of that outer area is um, steeled up. Blood Moon is arising. There we go. There we are. 
There we go. Just like that. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. We do that right there. Maybe uh, right along here too. In the middle where they hit the most. We'll put that there and we'll do another ribbon around here. Alright, we'll do that. How much have we got left on us? Uh, 238, huh? Well, I'm gonna go... They, they tend to damage this a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these up. It's a lot of steel. Whew. There we go. All the stuff that is what holds us up. Do I have any more? I have 78 left. I'm gonna do you. And I'm going to do... Oh, what, what, what happened over here? I think this is a little different because I've got different things set up in the location. Yeah, that's just a little different. I've got a block hiding that right there. Go ahead and do that and, and do that right there too. Is that what I mean? <laughs> I've looked at this I don't know how many times. Where are you? There you are. All right, so my number one problem with my Horde Knights is I'm not paying attention to the cops. I get caught up in popping heads off of zombies and I'm having a good time with that and I don't realize there's a cop coming. And the next thing I know, he's puking all over us up there. So I need to be, try to be more aware of the uh, police officers. Uh, Jezebel, thank you. Great to see you, master. Oh, <laughs> master, love it. All right, come on. Up you go. We're almost there. It's not going to take long now. All right, what else do we need? I've got guns. I've got repair stuff. i got a little bit of steel. We'll grab some more steel outside. The 44 Magnum is on the bar. What do we have for this guy? Anything we could do here with him? Oh, what kind of fun stuff, if anything, can we put on here? I don't really see much, huh? Uh, I don't want to use a scope. Scope's no fun. Yeah, I don't see anything on here that would actually make my uh, my weapon better for me. Drawbridge is open. What? No, it isn't. Trying to give me a heart attack. <laughs> it's not open. No, it's not. Uh, okay. Uh, so do we have all of our guns? We do. We should probably repair everything. Let's go ahead and repair. And repair. Reload. Nope. I thought you used to unload your weapon when you did uh, the repairs on it. All right. Let's get you closed up here. Uh, we've got food and drink outside. Uh, we could shut down our hatches. Be cool to have those set up to some kind of a switch too, where you could just flip a switch and all the all the barricades would go wham, close shut. That'd be awesome. I know they've got uh, doors like that that you could do. Um. Okay, so our food and water is a little low. We'll eat and drink here in just a second. Uh, we have our looter glasses on. We have some wood. We have water. We have food. Trader Joel's is closing soon. I just heard him say it. Let's grab the rest of the stuff we need for repairs out here at the base. We'll drop a little more. Do we need concrete mixing? Here we do. Let's go and drop that in there. And let's grab half of that steel, put that in our inventory, cobble, all that good stuff. We'll throw that in there. I think we're good. We've got a plaster cast. We've got the first aid kit. I'm going to have you, Jezebel, would you come back here a little bit further? A 
Okay, she looks like she'll come down this hallway just a little bit further if I go around the corner here. Uh, it's kind of tight, huh? She's not really making her move here. Um... I'll get it done. Can I push you a little bit? No, you just go right through her, huh? All right, we'll leave her right there. Right there, she should be safe. Uh, I don't need the parts for the... Uh, I need electrical parts. Oh, I've got them. Okay, I've got them. Maybe I should grab a few more? Some regular steel. Forge just some raw iron. You sure need a lot of stuff. That was never upgraded. Okay, those are as upgraded as they can be. And you are open and should not be. Oh, I never did check this guy to see if he's fully loaded. You are. All right, beautiful. He's supposed to be our buzzard guy. So let's see how he does tonight. Dealing with the buzzards. Oh, Horde Knight's going to start here. Just a second. Hope I'm ready. Here we go. I think you guys missed the drawbridge because when I run across the drawbridge, I'm looking down. And as I get to the end of it, I hit close. It's kind of closing as I'm still getting off of it. My senses have picked up something. Are they tingling? Yeehaw! Copper coming in. Thank you for the good luck, Chase. Uh. Big man down. The Forty four is amazing, isn't it? Copper. Master, we are not alone. <laughs> Here comes Victoria. I saw her. Oh, that's Lucy. Oh, sorry. Unloaded. Another copper down. Henry DeRosa, hello. Dealing out some apocalyptic justice today. There we go. Take it to the head, bum. Ha 
I was thinking, you know, this hole we got down here, and this sledgehammer does such a great job of shooting everybody over that way. <laughs> um, it'd be kind of fun to have a... Oh, yeah, I, bet they, I bet your sensors have picked up something. It'd be kind of fun to have a bigger hole so that when they do get knocked off of there by, you know, because they're, they're taking damage from the blade traps, sometimes with the electric fence, too. Wow, the recoil on this thing is crazy. It's 44. Big time crazy. It really gives it. It kicks like a mule. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I have a bigger hole underneath this. Uh, a much deeper hole underneath here. Shot you the buttocks. We're fine. See, he's right there. They're they're already doing it. They're they're, they're starting to hit the wall over there. Not sure why. Something about taking their legs off while they're walking is just quite gratifying. See how the trap works. Still no dogs, I know. I see that too, Morse. Yeah, no dogs yet. I don't understand it. Uh, we haven't even had any radiators yet. I don't get it. The 49 day horde's supposed to be the hardest horde, right? Cop. Oh, God. Master, we are not alone. <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of slops down. Uh, I don't like the fact that he's puking, though. All the way over, he jumped. He did. He did. Biker man. See, they're coming to the top of that ladder there. He stands on the edge of that ladder and he pukes all over the stuff down there. Oh, that was a different... Oh, that's a lumberjack. Never mind. I know that sound. He's a lumberjack. Oh, he's stuck. That lumberjack is kind of stuck there. There's another cop coming. I think it's the cops wrecking those ladders. I think they're standing on the top of them and puking on them. <laughs> Curse flat. My senses have picked up something. Ooh. Did that kill that cop? 
Nope, he's still alive. He's still moving. Yeah, no dogs. No dogs, no radiateds, no nothing. What's going on? We're getting a fair amount of cops, which is great. I'm happy to see that. Let's uh, repair this. Not even buzzards tonight. We haven't had any buzzards either. It's very quiet, huh? I've got a bad feeling about this. Not even seen my good friend Billy here today. No Holly. Um, no Victoria. It's just Nurse Jenkins and uh, the businessman here, mostly. You better get off my wall there, lumberjack. Copper down. Let's see, what's our loot stage? Game stage, I'm sorry, game stage is 132. Not sure what that should be at to have the worst of the hordes. Yeah, incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. I love how the shotgun slows them down so they can't run anymore. Yeah, see, they're in the wall down there. I don't understand why they do that. It's just something, huh? Maybe it's because they're standing on that single wide bar and it just kind of confuses them or something? I don't know. We'll let that cop down, come down here and get ground up. Uh, Belderna, could attacking dogs be due to your level or could it be due to how many players are in the group? We've had cops before. We've had dogs the first couple of Horde Nights. We had dogs. I would think game stage has a lot to do with it. Uh, but, um, not sure. I'm hoping the 49th one will be a little bit harder. Because we're not doing too bad today. Uh, it's a good trap, too. I mean, it works pretty great. I don't have... I We've not had any demolishers come through here. Oh, there's Holly. We missed you, Holly. Yeah, are they tingling? Looks like they got the buzzard, huh? Oh my god. There's Billy. I 
I think the one on that back wall is trying to shoot them on the ground as well. Here comes a, here comes a crawler. Our first crawler. Oh, there's a white. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, bang. Now, is that white going to get back up again? There he is. I can't quite see what those whites are doing when they come through here. At least we've got whites showing up again. Or showing up in general. There we go. There's some more difficult zombies. Absolutely denied. Oh, that white, they just, the, that little, there's another white coming now. Well, that's Billy, I guess. No, oh, there he is. There's Pete, too. God, it just works so well. It's disgusting. Two whites don't make a wong. That's right. <laughs> We're not alone. Uh, buzzard. Shoot, you're, you're shooting down there. Yeah, I really didn't watch you shooting down there. Is that a buzzard? Jumpy. Mr. Jumpy drawers there. Nice. Easy peasy. Looks like the cops stopped coming.
Oh my goodness. Shotgun's got some range, huh? Oh my god, his head popped right off. Yeah, no dogs. The first two hordes we had dogs, but I don't think we've had any dogs since then. I love how they run over the top of each other to get down here. They get out of the way. It's so cool if you could put one round through multiple heads. I think you can with the rifle, right? If you get a certain perk in the rifle, you can actually... The, some kind about sniping. Something. You can actually get multiple kills with one bullet. I think we're almost done. I can't believe someone's getting up after being taking a headshot with a 44. Doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> Penetration perk with rifles, yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I remember that. Got Pete in the buttocks. Billy! Oh, you wiggly head you. I missed you. I missed. Pile of dead zombies. You know, I was thinking. You know, hits the, the the this knocks them off this way. I was wondering if I put a couple of blade traps, like maybe maybe one right over here, opposite of this one over there, so that when he pops them that way, they actually hit the blade trap in the back. That'd be kind of cool. And I might still be able to reach it to uh, make the repairs needed on it. Yeah, like, um, I don't think I can reach that far, though. I bet I can't reach something to repair it over there. I bet it wouldn't work. Oh, there's a cop. i got to get out of the way. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, I got him just before he blew up. Barf. Definitely picking up a little bit now. of his misery.
Okay, we've got dogs again. That's good. It almost like uh, it's getting worse as the night grows on, huh? You know? Let's take care of ourselves. Two o'clock in the morning. You don't say. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun, you. Close your stupid mouth. them off the edge. Yeah, those, swapping that out for steel is probably a good idea along those areas. The upgrades of steel we did today. Down you go, big fella. Maybe, maybe because he leveled up. Oh, look at this, mister. I don't have legs. I'm going to go ahead and crawl under the bar. I don't think so. Off you go now. Done a better job of keeping my eyes open for the cops. Here they come. Here comes another one. Although they're still seeing something that they're shooting their vomit at. We just don't want him doing is exploding. Buzzard. Oh, that's been a great buzzard hunter, huh? That SMG we added back there is working out great. Can you put the blades to the cut vertically? I can. Yes, you can. You can turn them on their side and have them spin that way as well. Yeah, so I could have them along here and just have them flicking their heads <laughs> as they come around. Oh. oh, you suck, dude. <laughs> oh. We had a few show up that time around, huh? They've got such limited space in here, they wind up going back out there and getting... Oh, cop! Ah, oh, shoot, he saw me. I need you guys to fall down so I can get that cop when he comes in. Why those cops are shooting like that? I guess it's just because they can see me.
Got a little more activity as the night got older, huh? Oh, cop. Dang, he saw me again. Oh, sorry, Pete. Repairs will be required. Oh, cop blew up. It's just shooting the buzzards. Sounds like gun, our first gun is out. The one right above us here, but the other one's still got rounds in it. Oh, the carnage. These guys have managed to, they do the most. They, they seem to get over here quite a bit. Oop, cop. There we go. He's a pole hugger. Uh, no, I've not checked out Rising World yet. Hey there, uh, Gold Dragon. How are you? I've not checked it out, no. Uh, Argonoth was in here a little while ago and told me about it, though. Well, are we done? All looks in pretty good shape for taking a bit of damage here and there today. But look at the bar right in front of us. Just barely any damage at all. Uh, it looks to me like we're probably done here. Um, I'll follow check me. It out. D don't go do anything stupid, lady. I'm going to drop off all of our. Uh, Repair stuff. All that goes in there. The rest of this is loot. Um, okay, so let's go back in this way. I think I got a quick drop box right here. I can just throw this stuff in. Maybe. No, I got rid of it. Uh, storage. The quick throw box is what I need. Uh, let's go downstairs. I think we're done. I'm just going to throw a bunch of this stuff in there right now. Nope, repair kits can stay with me. What am I doing? Uh, drop, drop, drop. There's all the extra stuff. Chili. Awesome. Let's check the blue ones first. Are they better? The blue ones better? I don't know. Oh, there's a hazmat jacket. We've got the gloves. It's about the time they send a wandering horde after us. Nice. We don't have any major damage pieces that I see here. It looks like it did pretty well. The ladders managed to make it through the night. Um, oops, sorry. Wrong button. How'd this ladder do? Yeah, this ladder made it too, but how damaged is it? Oh, God, you scared the crap out of me. Duh. <sighs> that scared me. This this creature, this thing right here coming up on me. Yeah, we got a hazmat jacket. Look at that. That's cool. I don't think I've ever had a hazmat jacket. 
But uh, looks like it held up pretty well, despite, you know, uh, quite a few cop puking things happening. Let's see what we got. Uh, drop, drop. Yeah, all this stuff down here goes. This is the loot from tonight. Granted, some of the bot bags we missed because it's been late. That is kind of a oddity. I, I don't know how often that is to have something like that come up uh, in loot. The hazmat jacket. What's that look like? What does it replace? <sighs> looks awful. You know that? That looks awful. Yeah. Doesn't look very good. That looks much better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. What else are we getting here? Ah, uh, not much. A little bit of brass. Uh, a little bit of lead. Uh, a few rounds. And good morning, Apocalyptic Survivors. Day 43, our last seven days on the planet. Um, the horde did pick up towards the end, which was nice. We had the dogs. We had whites. We had uh, some of the bigger. But no, I didn't see a single radiated zombie. Not a single radiated zombie as of yet uh, in a horde. And I think that's unusual. I've got to think that by this next one, we are going to see that. Now, the demolishers, not necessarily, because I think the demolishers are based on your game stage. I'm at 133. We'll have to see where we're at during by the next horde. Uh, we do plan on doing a Tier 5 mission this go-around, maybe one or two of them. And we'll see if that gets our game stage up. But I pretty sure the demolishers are based on this unless it's day 49 and then that's when they start showing up in hordes and there's a possibility you'll get a demolisher in your horde but like i said we didn't even have radiators this time around we have finally had some dogs show up which was nice to see um but uh, for the rest of it it was uh, pretty quiet the early part of that horde was just um pretty simple stuff we, we did really well i think again we've got most of it um kind of covered so, I thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Now it's time to get all this stuff put away and get ready for the next episode. <laughs>